What's up skiers? I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com uh, here to talk about the 2017 Rosignol Soul 7 HD. Chances are you've seen this black and yellow ski on your local hill. Uh, this is the 2016 Soul 7. Um, Rosignol came out with this ski a few years ago and ever since it's been one of the most popular skis on the market. Uh, it's very maneuverable, it's very versatile, uh, it can carve turns on groomers, but it does really, really well off piste and, and in, even in powder. Um, so yeah, really, really popular ski. Uh, got tons of great reviews. Um, and they've changed it. So, so why change it? Well, really the only negative feedback that Rosignol received uh, on the original Soul 7 was from really aggressive or, or just heavier skiers. Uh, and those skiers felt that it was a little bit unstable and lacked a little bit of torsional stiffness for really high speed aggressive skiing, uh, especially aggressive skiing on firm groomed snow or through kind of choppy variable conditions. So what Rozzy wanted to do is they wanted to add torsional stiffness to the ski and a little bit of strength while retaining that playful maneuverable feel that the ski has become known for and, and really the reason why it's been so popular the past few years. To accomplish that, uh, Rosignol has added carbon fiber to this ski, something that we're seeing kind of across the industry right now. It's a, it's a very popular material for ski construction. Uh, Rosignol has done it a little bit different. Uh, their, their technology is called Carbon Alloy Matrix. Now you probably won't be able to see it on this video because it is pretty subtle, but when you have a pair in your hand, um, you can actually see the, the new construction of the ski. It's kind of woven into the core, uh, so it's not a complete sheet of carbon fiber, um, but it does, it does its job. Now, it has received uh, a couple mixed reviews from some people out there that, that didn't maybe necessarily think they should have changed it, um, but we think Brazi really accomplished what, what they set out to do. I personally had a blast skiing this ski. Uh, I think it's still very, very playful, very maneuverable, um, but I found I could make really aggressive, powerful turns where on the older Soul 7, I think the ski would have been chattering. Um, I think it probably wouldn't have held an edge as well uh, as we were skiing in spots, some pretty icy terrain, and the ski still held, held an edge really, really well. The carbon fiber definitely adds that desired uh, extra torsional stiffness and stability, um, but it doesn't add that much weight to the ski. Uh, unlike a sheet of metal that, that would have made the ski very heavy, it's still really lightweight. Um, still kind of retains that pivoting maneuverable feeling, but now you can actually get up on and charge on it. So if, if you're nervous that Rosin will kind of ruin a great ski, don't be. Um, it's still still a phenomenal ski for people that like lightweight maneuverable skis um, but if you're more aggressive and you, you wanted a little bit more stability out of it it's got that now. Rosignol did an early release of the Soul 7 HD as well as the new Experience 88 HD. Um, you'll find both of these skis on SkiEssentials.com right now. So yeah that's the 2017 Rosignol Soul 7 HD. Um, definitely try and get a pair in your hands, check out the carbon construction, and if you can, try and get out on a pair and ski it. Because uh, I think most people out there will, will be really, really happy with, Rosie, with what Rosie did to this ski.